Hey y'all, welcome to Ozian Talks. So I finally got to defend my argument for naturalism to a priest up in the modern day debate discord server religious chat room. Anyway, so there's a minor little bit of ad lib here and there to correct some of the dialogues so that makes a little bit more sense, but I didn't change any of the meanings and you can come out of the discord and look at it yourself. If you don't trust me, Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. In the end, it was another <laughs> pre-sub argument. Uh, pretty easy to refute. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope you listen to the end. Thank you very much for watching. And indeed, naturalism is my favorite to refute. My original titles were Punishing Atheism and before that I was known in multiple servers as atheism is a joke. Oh, okay. Well, then you will have to agree to hold my axioms for epistemology as rationally justified if you want to argue epistemology. And I shall do the same for you. If you would rather argue over rational justification for worldviews, then let's just do that instead. If I agree, we will be seeing what worldview is more meaningful and rational to hold to. Do you hold to empiricism? Empiricism is not a worldview. I'm asking in general. And what about evolution? So, nope. I believe super determinism is true. Naturalism is true. Empiricism is rationally justified based upon some basic axioms. So, you want to debate? scientific claims <laughs> what so you want to do an internal critique of empirical claims that's sort of funny nice and no i feel it will be a waste i see it as a philosophy and mathematically improbable we'll just be debating worldviews if it falls into those lines then it is what it is and sure why not that's what we all do when we refute each other's position only if you show me your degree in evolutionary biology. I am not interested in debating nuances of scientific claims. It's not my argument. I am not a scientismist. What if I provide their claims and show the contradiction? Empiricism is not a worldview. We're talking about the theory of evolution. It's not a worldview. It's a presupposition tied into your worldview. No, it's not. Natural equals evolution equals origin of life. Evolution is not a precept of naturalism. Naturalism is a precept of evolution. Then what's the origin? There is none. Justify. Do you believe that there is an origin for God? God is defined as a city. I'm asking what's the origin for naturalism? Well, Superdeterminism is an axiomatic belief that I hold is true. It allows for knowledge. If determinism is true, or indeterminism is true, then we cannot have knowledge. I have knowledge that I cannot doubt my doubt. So, indeterminism is false. Superdeterminism is true. Superdeterminism precludes a first cause. So, naturalism has no origin. We're talking worldviews. You have no libertarian free will. Naturalism is a seity. I was giving justification for my axiomatic belief or my worldview. Again, do you not have free will? Well, we have illusion of free will that is part of our nature to enforce moral intuitions. There are also an illusion in order for propagation of our patterns as humans. Self-refuting claim naturalism is not a city the universe is going to hit a state of eek with Librium. Do you want my full argument? I haven't formalized it for free will and morality yet. Still working on that portion. No, it's an unfalsifiable claim, not a self-refuting claim. Cyclical universe models contradict equilibrium. Cyclical universe models are valid arguments for infinite past and future. Good that destroys ethics. And all your beliefs are predetermined naturally, including your non-God beliefs. 
Why should we debate if you're predetermined to believe what you believe naturally? See, when you fail to engage in the entire argument and just jump to one claim, I explained why it is the case and why ethics or morality matter. I already explained that. Is it a theory? A dissertation is an argument, special form of argument, but valid and based upon observations. The rapist, murderer, thief, etc. are naturalistically predetermined to do what they do that's a sound refutation. No, it's not, and I already rebutted your supposed refutation, and I will repeat myself. We have illusion of free will that is part of our nature to enforce moral intuitions. There are also an illusion in order for propagation of our patterns as humans. You may not believe it matters, but naturalism does not care. It does what it does. Where does that justify the rapist, murderer, thief, etc. could do otherwise? That destroys ethics exactly. So why condemn anyone for their actions if it's naturalistically predetermined to do so is self-refuting? Good, you're justifying my point. Because it's naturally predetermined that we do something about the rapist and murderer and thief. And yes, I am determined to not believe in a God. That just goes to arguments for God that we all know God exists, that I'm just in denial for some reason. Good could you be wrong about your belief in God? No. That's a foolish and arbitrary statement. No. Cool. Could you be wrong about God? Not at all if he revealed himself through time and history through fulfilled prophecies, justifying divine authorship. I shouldn't believe in God if that's not the case, but my point is everything ether entails God or it does not as creator. But with special revelation, you're without excuse. You could be wrong, but you foolishly say no. As if you're all knowing in all regards to justify that's the case. This is highly laughable, yet I persist. So, could you be wrong about God existing? It's a simple yes or no. Again, not at all. If God has justified his existence, you got natural and special revelation, and I'm not going to play the atheist game of playing stupid and suppressing what is obvious. Special revelation says naturalism is true. You have books all over about naturalism, shrug. What are you talking about? General revelation makes it even more obvious that naturalism is true. That's a foolish and arbitrary statement, quote unquote. Any fulfilled prophecies, or are we going to continue the game of playing stupid and ignorant? Oh, so your argument just boils down to me lying. You have no defense. Prophecy is impossible, logically impossible. That's a foolish statement. Any claims to prophecy being fulfilled is false because it's a contradiction. It's mathematically impossible based upon recursion and knowledge of your knowledge. You can deny it, but that's just denying logic. God is also false due to set theory. Sir, so your refutation is a conspiracy theory. But I wasn't arguing against God just for naturalism. No, it's a logical impossibility. I don't believe people are lying, just errors in their thinking. Sir, we both have the antithesis. We're pushing, we're not neutral. It's either God's creation or a meaningless, valueless, purposeless, unguided cosmos product of chance. Ultimately speaking, and either all facts are created facts or brute facts. And if they're brute facts, that's a whole other problem. No, super determinism doesn't allow for chance. That's a straw man of my argument. Look, sir, you either hold to naturalistic materialism or pantheism, men if pantheism good. I have my refutation for it. Of course, I have a rationally justified worldview that I believe is true with 100% certainty. False, I have my own argument. 
Yeah, cause you're naturalistically predetermined. So now within this conversation, there's some banter back and forth. Somebody's asking us to take it to voice chat so we can actually have a debate. Originally, he challenged me to a voice chat, um, but I said I wanted it to be moderated and I guess, I don't know. So he attacked me first anyways, he engaged, but now he doesn't want to go to a voice chat because he says I have nothing to defend, yada, yada, yada. I said, well, you haven't even gotten into my worldview. So basically, I said, you can't even defeat my worldview. Gotcha. That's why you don't want to debate me. Um, he said I couldn't even get my worldview lifted off the ground. It's like I never even presented my argument. We didn't even go there. You're just like um, blowing smoke. What, what's the word for there? Just asking questions. I didn't present an argument. So now he asked for the argument. And that's where we get into it. again. Numb nuts I've been here for showing the ignorance of his disposition yet. I'm not ready to battle. He has nothing to battle with his position is pointless because it's self-refuting everything, including his beliefs are predetermined, including his non-God belief. I get you share his same ignorance, but anyone with a decent cognitive faculty would see the problem there. This is pure ignorance. I believe his argument in summary is that I know special revelation of God is true and I am lying about it. Justify all things do not have their causation in God that simple. Exactly. Easily, monotheism is false because it violates set theory. Not natural is false because it violates super determinism. Super determinism is required for knowledge. If determinism is false, then cause and effect is false and he cannot have knowledge. Not even about your God. Your worldview is self refuting again another foolish claim this guy clearly isn't a debating vet you're refuting everything's cessation in god with abductive theory because super determinism is true i can have knowledge it's just the basic transcendental argument for not god i love the desperation one of many arguments that refute god abduction doesn't mean false this is amusing yet it doesn't mean objective, just like your super determinism theory. I can give you an inductive and deductive argument too. Bring out the syllogisms. My presuppositions, universe exists. Universe is a closed system. Not natural is something from nothing via will. Not natural is false. Natural is true. Everything that exists is all that exists definition time is measurement of rate that things change form form is a visible shape or configuration of something exists is something that has objective reality or being premise one everything in time has a current form and a preceding form premise two if the universe has a current form or excuse me the universe does have a current form <laughs> And premise three, if one and two are true, then the current universe has a preceding form. Premise four, the universe is all that exists. Premise five, if three and four, then the preceding forms of the universe are all that have existed. Premise six, there is nothing prior to time zero. Premise seven, time zero does not exist. Premise eight, eternal time is all time that exists. Premise 9, if 6 and 8, then time 0 to present is eternal time. Present premise 10, if 7 and 8, an infinite past time to present time is eternal time. Premise 11, if 5 and 9, then the universe has eternally existed and time 0 was the first form of the universe. Premise 12, if 5 and 10, then the universe has eternally, eternally existed and the universe has infinite preceding forms. Do you want my identity argument? Is this guy a moron? You call that a syllogism. I'm dead in laughter right now, sir. Yes, it's a syllogism. It's a forked one with two possible explanations. Do you have a rebuttal or just laughter? I hold to 12 and I have arguments for possible rebuttals. Shoot. You should read Spinoza's ethics sometimes. I think his is in the hundreds. 
Sir, if you call that a syllogism, then I'll stack up a bunch of nonsense and throw it at you, staying it's a syllogism. What happened to modus ponens? I'm up to 20 with this in identity to get to what I means for me to identify as human. I even put the if then in there to make it easier on you. P implies Q. P is true. Therefore, Q must also be true. Yes. Modus ponens, okay, cool. Whatever, modus ponens, whatever. I'm not a philosopher anyways, that's ad-lib there. Ignore that last moment. Sri asked for a syllogism, not a stacked form of what you believe with so much nonsense you think it justifies itself. Why am I entertaining this? Yeah, you are not ready for a debate. Refute the premises based upon the axiism, axioms. Also, learn how to do an internal critique. This is sort of funny. And if I'm not, you never were to begin with. Just remember, even this was naturalistically predetermined to say. Your position is self-refuting, yet you think it's rational. Cracks me up. An internal critique. You should really think about doing that to your whole standard, sir. Your disposition doesn't fly, nor does that syllogism. Well, good day to you. Not self-refuting. If it was so easy, then you can show me the actual contradiction. Being determined to have a specific belief based upon rationality is not a rebuttal to determinism. Somehow I knew he wouldn't engage in good faith. Go figure. It was determined and predictable. It's just his nature, so I don't hold it against him. And that was pretty much... The end of the conversation, back and forth with some other people. So, in the end, he challenges me to a voice chat debate. And I try to set it up, and then he ran away like a little pre-sup he is. Because he cannot defend his worldview. He cannot contradict naturalism. It is an unfalsifiable worldview the most they can do is claim that you are lying and that's the arguments they actually truly hold they just lie about it because they're the ones lying and that's it give me a like share follow and until next time bye bye please like share and subscribe to ozian talks for more of this content